I'd welcome your questions, and uh, one of them might be about the length of the Australia A site, that I'm sure the interest initially was probably in the ODR squad. Now, um, John Mitchell Johnson makes a comeback after a, uh, a long absence. I think the feeling is he'll come back in a little bit a lot of fast bowlers. Yeah. <coughs> Um, I mean, we could have taken a squad of 14, and that, in some senses, uh, would have been a better balanced squad. Uh, but we decided to go with 15, and the reason behind it was uh, Pat Cummins is coming back, so there's a little bit of a question mark there. Uh, uh, with James Pattinson, there's also just a little bit of a question mark, although I think he's going to be 100%, but a little bit of a question mark. And with Mitch, uh, one of the the thoughts were that he's very much in our sights for the uh, T20 World Cup, the ICC T20 World Cup. So that's a real, really a marquee event for us. So if we're going to develop him as well as we can for that, it's ideal for him to be in the set up in England. Uh, he's in the squad of 15, he's not in the team as yet. Uh, but we'll see how he goes uh, in the nets and in the uh, initial three matches before the ODI series. Um, and then we've got plenty of backup there. So question mark about Pat Cummins. Uh, the news on him is good, but quite obviously when he plays, he's not going to be playing constantly. Uh, and we're a little bit wary about you know, his, his injury, whether it returns. Um, well, it, you know, as I've said, Pattinson, so we've gone for 15 and we think that's ideal. And Dan Christian, he, he was a regular um, over the last summer? Well, he, he was a regular, although he didn't play all the ODIs in, um, he didn't play all the ODIs in the West Indies. Um, and he's still very much also, you know, the, he's in India and so we've had text messages. He's very much in our thoughts for the T20. Um, but we preferred to have uh, Steve Smith in that role as sort of backup all-rounder. Uh, so Steve's in the squad. If we were to pick the team for tomorrow, uh, Steve wouldn't be in that team. He'd be one of the backup. And again, uh, his end-of-season form was very encouraging. He's been doing well recently in the 2020 in India. Um, and we're looking to develop him further for the marquee T20. Um, but we, there's a strong chance Dan will be there too. Now that you know he's in hot form, you uh, know Kawaja or Hughes, where do you place them? Uh, <coughs> well, they're still very much in our thinking. I spoke uh, with Phil Hughes and Usman Kawaja, I think it was last Friday. Uh, um, Phil goes to England very soon to Worcester, and Usman Kawaja goes early June to Derbyshire, so we had a good chat. Um, and the word to them was we picked very much on uh, performance in Australia and their performances this last summer weren't what they might have been. <coughs> but we're delighted they're going away to play extensively in England in all three formats. Um, and there wasn't much point, in, in one sense, there wasn't much point getting them into the Australia A for four games for, I think it's 14 days cricket, when they'd probably miss 30 days cricket uh, doing with Worcestershire and um, with Derbyshire. And I said to them, you know, basically, I said, we're on your side. We want you to do really well. You've got a wonderful opportunity in England to do well and come into the Australian summer playing really well, and you're still very much in contention. And they, their, their response was completely understand, really appreciate the call, very determined to do well. It was terrific, very positive. So we, we, you know, and we're really hoping they come again. Uh, John, do you concede those two players have got major technical problems outside of Shafi? Do you hope that playing them in good conditions will help them along the way, or is, do they need some other structural adjustment? Look, I, I, you know, I'm not in the coaching situation. I mean, all players have trouble. You know, on the fourth stump on a good length and they nick them a bit. They probably a little bit more than others. I know that they've been working very hard in Sydney and I know Phil Hughes in particular has got his own coach and they've been working very hard. I don't know exactly what on, but they've been working very hard. And I think with these things, you know, if you, if you work hard and maybe you tweak your technique a bit, 
But if you get there and you make runs, your confidence builds and the whole thing spirals. And that's what we're really hoping with both of them. So as Stevie, you know, as we all know, when they play well, they can really play. And we're really hoping they come back. When from a selector's point of view, what we want is uh, for us to have a very difficult job with lots of players knocking down the door with their performances. Uh, well, I'll pause Matthew. Two questions if I could. It's on the Mr. Johnson again. Um, he's been named in the A squad who's playing three and four days now. Yeah. Does that mean, in your thinking, still protecting him? Oh, certainly, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Mitchell Johnson, he's a fine cricketer with a very good record. So we're hoping that he comes back. I mean, I, I've seen Mitch bowling a couple of times in Perth recently, and bowling very well, uh, and had a number of conversations with him. And we really am talking a lot about how he bowled in Perth in the last test match against England, <coughs> and really stacking up his action and getting through and bowling line and length and swing the net. And he's had six or seven months to reflect on this. And I think he's really, you know, he's desperately keen to do that. And it's probably an opportune time to say there are 17 in the Australia A squad. And the reason for that, that you know, a couple of reasons is from the ODI team, we don't know who's going to get plenty of cricket and who's, who's not. So it might be that Pat Cummins gets plenty of cricket in the ODI and then we won't have him in the Australia A squad. It might be the other way with, with Mitch Johnson. Thank <laughs> you.